Hey guys, what is up? It is Mike from the Battle Nations Bros, and today we will be bringing you a Spire Wasp Egg Unit Review. So, I got really lucky this morning. I actually got one from the Spire Wasp Queen. Um, I was very excited, and I'm very happy to be bringing this video to you guys. So, to start out, it does a base damage of 111 to 150, and it has a combined total of 800 HP at rank 1 with 600 hit points and 200 armor. Now, there are another good thing to note about this unit, guys, is that it has 1,000 bravery, as you can see right here. This means that the unit is very, very, very unlikely, almost impossible to be suppressed. Now, if you don't know what suppressed means, then you're kind of a noob, but I'll explain it anyways. It basically means that your um, attacks that you use on your units, their offense is lowered, and that way they usually get um, more misses or more dodges, and then they just don't do as much damage in comparison to what their normal... Um, base offense could do for them. So that's basically what suppression is. Now it is a blocking unit. It does have a cooldown of 7, which is kind of unfortunate since uh, it takes a long while for that to cool down and then attack again, but that's alright. Um, it does have DOT damage of poison, and it's a 55% chance of that, which can do from 131 to 44 damage. And that can last up to 3 turns. Now what's really interesting about this unit, guys, is that it's it can be ranked up pretty easily. Like, looking at the stats right now, um, it only costs around 13 um, K SP to get it to rank 2, which is actually pretty small considering um, a bunch of other units require way more and that this is a boss drop, and it's just a very great unit because of all of its immunities as well. It's immune to basically everything, if not everything. So we're just going to show you a few battles just to um, show off what this can do. So just to show a side-by-side -side comparison um, that the egg is really matched up against, we're just going to show the electric fence here. Now they're both very similar, both attack uh, across three squares right in the front, both are frontline units. Um, they vary a little bit, one stuns and one poisons, but just to show off their damages and uh, just to show what they can do compared to each other, we're just going to show that now. So the egg, it does devastating damage against unarmored units as you can see there. And then here's the electric fence. So as you can see, we had some stun there, but the poison from the egg is very important because that can get a lot more damage if you just let that poison go on. Both have uh, pretty lengthy cooldowns, as you can see here. The electric fence has a little bit shorter of a cooldown, but um, the egg at max rank has more uh, HP, total combined HP, than the electric fence. So that's just a thing to note. So they're actually pretty similar. Um, if you were going to rank up something and you didn't have an egg, obviously you're going to use the electric fence. Very handy unit. But, um, yeah, in a boss strike fight, I would just definitely prefer this egg, mainly because of its many immunities. Even though the electric fence has many immunities, it's not immune to everything, unlike the egg. And the egg cannot be suppressed, which is another very good thing. Plus, if you rank this egg up a little bit more, it's going to be able to have more HP and more armor. And it's just overall just going to be a better unit and can dish out some more damage. So yeah, guys, that was just a little bit of a side-by-side -side comparison. And this was an egg unit review. If you liked what you see here, remember to rate, comment, and subscribe and show your support. Also, leave some suggestions of what you guys want to see in the future. Um, there's an upcoming invasion. We're going to be showing some strategy on that soon. And uh, yeah, guys, this is the Battle Nations Brothers, and uh, thank you for watching. All right, shout-out to Kid Slick. This video was dedicated to you.